10 on your sides, Kayla Gaskins picks up our coverage now. She joins us live from Williamsburg. Kayla? Well, the Williamsburg Fire Department worked through the night to get this fire out. As you could see from those aerials from Chopper 10, the damage is extensive. There are still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding this crash, but we are starting to get some of those answers. We now know the identity of the resident who died as a result of this crash, 91-year-old Jean Danelko. Wavy 10 has spoken with her family. They didn't want to go on camera yet. They are understandably still very, very upset. They say she was completely independent. She still drove herself around and was a very involved member of her community. The pilot of the helicopter is still unaccounted for. State police spokesperson say they have started to discover human remains. Some neighbors I spoke to said multiple pets who belong to people in those townhomes are still missing. According to the FAA, the helicopter was an R-44. We're told the pilot was the only one on board. Now a number of people have been displaced and the Red Cross is offering assist assistance. NTSB is also investigating this crash. They're looking into the pilot, the aircraft to find out what the cause was. They're going to have a press conference later this afternoon. We will be streaming that live and we're going to have team coverage with my coworker Andy Fox. I'll also be live out here again starting at 4. We'll check back in with you then. For now, live in Williamsburg, Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.